update has officially launched guys the criminal enterprises is here we have some new vehicles that i'll be showing you guys to start with here so first let's go to elitis travel and see the new helicopter the kanada if i'm saying that correctly it uh, is non-weaponized unfortunately and it does have a trade price that we can get by completing the Alp cleanup mission. Next, we have a new vehicle on Southern San Andreas Super Autos, and that is the Bravado Greenwood, a nice old school muscle car. It looks very clean. It is a bit pricey though. And then we have four additional vehicles on Legendary Motorsports. We got the Pegasi Torero Exo, so a new take on the Torero. And then we also have the Corsita, if I'm saying that right, the LM87, and the Ominous EGT. All of these look very cool and exciting and also very pricey. Like we got one here that's almost $3 million. Oh, we got a call here from Agent Alp. Okay, so to get those missions started, we got to go over to the IAA headquarters. We'll get to that later in the video here, but there is some other stuff I want to check out first, such as heading over to the ammunition and checking out the uh, new weapon, the precision rifle that is available on launch day here. Uh, as we can see here, it is right here. It is $450,000, so it is on the pricey end. But there we go. Boom. We got it. We can grab a bunch of uh, ammo for it. We got tints and that's unfortunately about it. It looks like from here at least. It is in the sniper category and there we have it. It is a absolute beast of a weapon. It holds 10 bullets. Let's see how many bullets it would take to blow up just an NPC car here. Okay, this is this is a little bit disappointing. So on the damage side, it's looking a little bit weak because the fire is helping us right now. Okay, so it took like 21 bullets plus a little fire damage. So if you have multiple people shooting them, it might take a bit more than that uh, because the fire won't have as much time. On top of that, we have some Mark II oppressor nerfs. The first one comes in the form of the countermeasures. The countermeasure cooldown is now insanely long. The countermeasures themselves has not changed, but as we can see here, the cooldown is now much, much, much longer. That is how long the cooldown is. And also the accuracy of the missiles. I have a clip here to show you guys of me actually dodging the new Mark II missiles in a Mark II. Okay, so there's our countermeasures. And now let's try to dodge the missile. Okay, wow, we can actually dodge Mark II missiles, guys. We can actually dodge them without even the... Uh, the countermeasures and that's just pretty crazy to think that you can even do that now on top of that when you are requesting new vehicles they will now be delivered faster so let's go ahead here click the uh, request our vehicle back I just called in my mark 2 again and boom as we can see it's already right here we're getting a bunch of uh, calls and texts from all the uh, existing businesses and then as we can see here we got some limited time boosts on payouts as well as a bunch of new one-time bonuses and these are the important stuff I'll have the uh, the limited time stuff in a different video but in the long run here we have two times payout for your first cell mission three times manufacturing speed for bikers and gun running businesses until the first cell mission, three times research speed for first research item in gun running bunkers, three times payout for the gun running ammunition contract and sourcing bunker research, three times payout for export mixed goods, three times payout for select club management, and three times payout for sourcing nightclub goods. So those are all first time things that'll be available for everyone at any time in the future, as long as it is your first time doing them. Some other new stuff that we got, we can go ahead and dial up Agent 14 here. And there is actually a new option for a bunker vehicle that we can get that does not interfere with your personal vehicle. So we can have my Mark II here. And let's say I just wanted to call like my caddy from my bunker. So I still have my personal vehicle here, my Mark II, but we're also gonna have the caddy. But as you can see here, our bunker vehicle has been delivered nearby and this is also affected by the uh, new delivery speeds on top of everything else. And as you can see, we got our caddy from the bunker and we got it delivered to us here on top of our personal vehicle. So that's pretty cool even though I probably wouldn't recommend calling in the caddy for these reasons. <laughs> but now let's actually go inside of our warehouse and talk 
to these new staff that were recruited. So you can actually go up to these staff and you can send them to source crates of special cargo for the warehouse. So it does cost money just like other crates, uh, but then they'll go out for a bit and when they're done, we will get contacted and we'll know about it and then we'll have some special cargo in here that I won't even have to do. You know, the staff are doing it, so that is lovely. We also have some new stuff regarding the inventory of our interaction menu. So we can still go here and uh, select our ammo and purchase it. Like, let's say I just want 32 rounds of uh, SMG ammo, sure. But also, we can go here and get full ammo of all of our owned weapons in just one click now. And then also on top of that, if you look at my health bar, you'll notice I'm down a little bit of health. In the past, you would have to go to your inventory and then snacks and eat them from here. But with this new way, all you have to do is hold down the weapon wheel. And then as you can see in the top left, we have an option to eat our snack and there's no animation, nothing. You can spam it and it's instant. You guys see that? We're back to full health just like that. Just a couple of presses. So that is amazing. Now, if we head over to across the street from uh, Record A Studios, we can see the luxury autos here will in the future be open as this uh, note here reopening soon suggests. I'm not actually sure the exact date on that, but it looks like we're gonna have some drip feed in that sector. Tony just let us know of the new missions that'll take place inside of our nightclub that'll help boost its popularity. So that's very cool. And also, if we wanted to, we can actually go ahead and call Tony now to request missions as well as get a nightclub vehicle, which are limos, and that is absolutely insane and we can also just like the bunker ones have these on top of our personal vehicles so and they should be delivered a bit faster so they should be here any moment yep right there and you see that we now have a limo here that we can drive around and do whatever we want with so that is very cool the other thing we can do when we call tony is request club management and below you can actually see your current nightclub popularity if we select this we get a club management mission which are the same ones that we've had but you used to have to go all the way into the nightclub to start so it's very nice and there's also a couple new missions scattered in there so stay on the lookout for those and then if we dial up johan we can actually request nightclub goods you can also see your current stock value and the percentage but if we start this mission here, we get a special new type of mission that when you do it, you actually are bringing back stock for the warehouse. So it's similar in a way to a business battle. We have some new business opportunities here through the clubhouse. The first being these bikes that can be serviced and then delivered. It's very similar to how the auto shop vehicle deliveries work. You basically just get on it, you customize it the way they want, and then deliver it, so that's very cool. And then on top of that new bike delivery service, we can also go over here, talk to Cindy, and we can actually start a mission from her that collects supplies for the bar. And with these supplies, we'll actually be bringing customers into the bar and we will be making a passive income. So after you've received the call from Agent Ulp, you can head over to this U on your map. It's at the IAA building. I'm sure a lot of you already know where that is. So once you got that call from him, you can actually head over here to start these missions. If you guys are interested in the new contact missions from Agent Ulp, that is what you do. You receive the call and then you head over here to the IA building and go into that yellow circle. There's also a new daily collectible called the Buried Stashes. I'm not sure why I have eight out of two of them right now. Uh, but yeah, I will let you guys know in a future video when I figure out all the details on those. There's also a lot of small rebalances and additions like new clothing, new hairstyles, changes to payouts on various missions. But just to recap, if you guys do wanna get started here with Operation Paper Trail, after Agent Ulp contacts you, go to this U on the map. It is at the IAA building and hop into that yellow circle to get them started. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have a bunch of guides on this stuff coming out in the near future. The rest of this is gonna be in drip feed in the coming weeks. So look forward to that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.